Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying this overview. It was designed to help you start thinking about how these things can make a significant difference in your business. Now the reality is they already are impacting you in either a negative or a positive way. Now, our first session set the stage as the internet. The second session exposed you to a powerful tool for you to have in your arsenal and that's video. Session 3 introduced a revolution going on today called Web 2.0, which includes things such as video blogs and social networking. Our last session talked about your website and featured strategies to help it be more effective for both you and your visitor and suggested ways to use it to expand your customer base. In this session, we'll be talking to you about something called landing pages or squeeze pages. Now you've all seen them and let me tell you, they can be incredibly effective. It's a lot to cover, so let's get started. Okay, let's start with the definition of a landing page. A landing page technically is the first page that you are taken to when you click on a search result. Now this can either be a website or a specially designed sales page. For our purposes here, we are defining the landing page as your standalone sales page. The page is generally one long page discussing the features and benefits of your offer. One of the problems with selling anything on the web is attracting clients and getting them to actually review an offer. That is where a landing page can be very important. Recently, a study was completed that illustrates the benefits of a landing page. In the study, visitors were divided into two groups searching the net using the same keywords. One group was taken to the company's website that had an offer, and the other group to a landing page with a specific problem related to the keyword that was used in the search. The landing page also had the same offer. The visitors that went to the generic website stayed longer and viewed more pages, yet a larger percentage of them left without taking advantage of the offer. When the visitors landed on the landing page, they stayed for less time and viewed fewer pages, since there was only one, but they converted two or three times more than the visitors to the regular website. The reason is simple. Landing pages focus on the topic the client is searching for and focuses the client on the action that they want them to take. They don't become distracted or disinterested. So, using landing pages to promote your products and services can be a very smart strategy. Here are a few tips to help your landing pages pay off. When your customer is searching the net and sees a link to go to your landing page, they will make a choice to click on it or not to click on it. If they do click on it, that reveals a certain degree of intent on their part. To keep this interest alive, the search term, which was obviously relevant to, enough to get them this far, should be reflected in the header and copy of the landing page. This will keep your prospect focused and interested in what you have to offer. By using a specific landing page geared to specific keyword terms, you can maximize the sales process. Here's another tip. Write the copy of your landing page from the prospect's perspective. Why are they there? What do they want? How do you help them take action? All of these questions will help you write copy that is meaningful to the prospect. Another strategy is to offer them something for free. This offer has several advantages. First, it allows you to get their contact information so you can continue the sales process. Second, it builds a relationship with the prospect. And third, it allows you to build credibility. As with any advertising copy, it is a good idea to test different approaches to see which ones convert higher. Sometimes just changing the headline, free offer, or the look of the page can make a big difference. Here's another tip. Put all your critical information above the fold. The fold is the top part of the web page that is in view immediately without scrolling. You want them to see your compelling headline, video, or free offer, so put it on the top of the page where it can be seen without the need to scroll. Another tip is to keep it simple. Use a one column format with ample margins and white space to increase reading comprehension. 
try to break up the big paragraphs into smaller paragraphs with no more than five lines each. You want to encourage visitors to read and engage with your message. Dense looking copy makes them click away. Make it easy for them to understand and take action by putting your message in the center of the page. Being clear and underlining links. The landing page's job is to convert a prospect into a lead or customer. You can measure the success by tracking how many people hit the landing page and then how many of those signed up for your offer and how many clicked through to your website. One tool that's being used a great deal today with landing pages is video. A landing page with a video is a great way to attract attention, increase conversions, and grab leads. The video's power to explain, educate, and inform is on full display on a landing page. At Ally Video, we specialize in landing pages with video content. In fact, we have a whole division geared just to that very thing called Power Pages. You can find out more about Power Pages and how they can jumpstart your sales efforts at a very reasonable price by going to www.powerfulvalue.com. In our next session, we're going to show you how to put these tools into a campaign that will not only boost your sales, but do so on autopilot. For Ally Video Services, this is Rory Graham. I'll see you in the next section.